Okay, we go on now. We still repaying our debt. And but we will repay it. We need to save some money for returning of uh, other our territories. Why I cannot import clothes from Poland? I don't understand that. I have an interest in, interest in that region. Well, you know, probably it is uh, the situation with wrong mechanic of Victoria. So let's save this game. Calculate somehow the zones of interest and we'll be able to do something with Poland. Okay, so once again I want to import clothes from Poland. Yes! I told you there is a problem. Uh, yeah, there is a problem with uh, some kind of mechanics. And probably I will report it uh, to the game developers. Okay, so we have now a trade road. Now let's see what is with the diplomacy. Okay, so to have a trade agreement, uh, to have a trade agreement, we need. Uh, to make more trade with Poland. Let's see what, they, what do they produce. Wood grain services, furniture, paper, tools, liquor. Okay, we need paper and we need tools. Unfortunately, we don't have enough bureaucracy. Um, yeah, it's kind of a problem. Okay, let's wait a little bit until we will deal with our debt. Then we will build more government administration. And with a new government administration, which will also help us. Oh, we yeah. have productive trade roads. Okay. So we can make a new trade with Poland. So, what we need is paper. Okay, what do we also need? Um, already talked about clothes. What about hardwood? No. Actually, what interesting can we buy from Poland? Fabric. We don't need it. Can 
I don't think it's useful for Prussia. On the other hand, again, we will need to buy a lot of firearms. So, probably, yes. Okay, what else can we buy from Poland? Uh, paper will also buy in that. Was probably this. Uh, it's not actually good. What we are looking for is we want, uh, we have very expensive arms because with Prussia we have an agreement so it would be probably nice and without any additional payment to get it from Prussia and the same thing with artillery And what is the same thing probably with ammunition, yeah. The only problem is that we don't have enough convoys. Okay. Artillery is still expensive. But not that expensive. Yeah, that's great. While we have more authority, we can try to encourage agriculture here and do the same thing uh, here
we can also have another access. <laughs> but that is probably not the best idea. Okay, so what we have with Poland? A bit more trade, and we will a and, and we we will be able to propose a trade agreement. That is very good. Probably uh, such a high income, it is because of, not really, oh yeah, good for military building, yeah. So as you see, the uh, trade agreement with Prussia was extremely effective, we also need Maneuvers probably, and we could try to get it. Okay. Poland wishes to enter a, turn, a trade agreement with us. It's great. Yep. Okay. So, uh, okay, we can buy both in Prussian and Austrian market, and in this case, make tools not so expensive. We need to buy something of very okay? Because uh, we have a hell of a lot of time and almost full reserves, we can actually start the building we were talking about. We discussed. We also need uh, government administration. What else? Okay. First of all, we need government administration because this level is not that high, and we also need, which is even probably more important because of the war, we need uh, more shipyards. Enable to fully hire. Okay, we will see why. We also need to expand our port. Because in case of war, we will need many, many different things. And we need government administration. And uh, as for the port, we need it right now. Probably yes. Ok, 
Okay, so we have practically the maximum we can have. So let's do what? First of all, uh, our people have to breathe a little bit. Second of all, we have to improve uh, our building speed. Well, probably not like that. Okay, we also have uh, give normal salaries uh, to our government and give a normal military wages okay Actually, we have uh, with the construction sector. We have 15. Person Voliniki Lugansk. What about here? It seems that we don't have a construction sector in here. Let's have it. Okay, we can form a defensive pact with Poland. And what about Austria? Actually, no options. What about our relations? Okay, as for now, everything is good. We have additional 2000 and we have to spend it somehow. Somehow useful. Let's spend it like that. We also can make people live a bit easier by removing the steps. As you see, the internal situation becomes better. And even standard of living went up. That's good. Okay. 
we have a huge number because we don't uh, have taxes now, so let's make is the turmoil state? Oh yeah. It is interesting what will it be if we will promote enlistment efforts. Let's see. We don't see the result right now, to be honest. No, we have the result. We can also temporarily remove this text. In this case, people should love me more. Okay, and we also have some additional authority. What industry do we have here? Lodging camps. Okay. Resource industry. Practically no industry here. We have, have very good options for the next war with Russia, but we, all, we have two more years. Okay, so we have some expensive government goods like clippers, iron. Let's try imported. Okay, so let's try to import iron. Okay, 
Let's also try to import. Uh, what do we need? Tools. We need a bit more powerful army and we can then take Poland into our union. To make more powerful army we have to build barracks. Yeah, and we also have to build a port and government administration and okay probably barracks more important right now. Actually, what we have to think about is that for long war with Russia we will need a hell of a lot of weapon and probably because it is not that easy to find it on the market, we have to produce something ourselves and probably as much as possible. So while we have some time. We have to prepare. Of course, barracks goes first. Let's see how it changes the situation with Poland. We need a bit more barracks. Okay, here is five. Okay. 
Let's do that. Probably we have to raise our army to the maximum right now. Because, as you see, Polish army is also stretching. Because we are losing money again, it's time to impose a new tax. Now we don't have a possibility for it. Editor. Okay, let's see what we'll be able to use in the next war against Russia, which will be very soon. Twenty-four years. Six years. If we will use again the attempt uh, to start uh, a sea invasion, we will really need that. Okay. But actually, well, 
what happened? Why cannot we propose? Okay, we don't have enough, I think. Probably we have to cancel this. way we are much closer to Russian capital which is always one of the how can I say one of the most important parts for Russia so we will able to do a really about a year. Okay. Let's see what do we have with our generals. I think it's enough of the generals now. And what is it with our navy? Okay. Now we have to about that. Uh, all barracks must have skirmish infantry and mobile artillery. The same thing here. Oh, I don't know about that because of course that is good for a big war. But the key question is, uh, will we be able to bear it with our really, really uh, I think, yeah, it's not a time for it because we just, we will have to spend too much money. Uh, we also have to do something for the naval base, but not now. Okay, not now. Actually, we can take a part in the struggle if we'll get something in return. For example, we can try to 
in Turkey, but let's see what they will offer us. It would be nice to get some help from Turkish Empire in the war against Russia, but I think it is too crazy and too fantastic. Sorry, my microphone was away so I took it closer meanwhile what about our leader We have a very good leader, despite a bit old, but good. Yeah, the literacy here is catastrophic. Europe leads. We have to do something with that. But not now. I would like to expand it, but I need more bureaucracy. And before we will end the war, I don't see a possibility for it. An ship situation becomes more interesting. Yeah, probably we will not get into there because we have about six months before the next war with Russia, so it would be too stupid. Well, we could have additional 30 brigades, which would be really nice.
Yeah, they have a very good king. Okay, potentially we have an extremely huge army. Maybe more than Russia has. Less than Russia, but... Meanwhile, what about the arms factories? Not yet finished, okay. Probably we need a new tax. Which let's switch something here. And now we can add a new tax. Okay, which will cover the expenses and made us a little more rich. this. Before the war I'm not going to alienate the large part of our nation. Some money for the building, but let's see how it will start working. When meanwhile, the next one will be ready. Just about when the war will begin. Okay.
I want them to start production immediately, but how can I do that? Okay. Let's see. In buildings, can we do something with that? Yes. That's great. Okay, two artilleries and two small arms, it's, it's not enough, we will need about 10 times more, or even more than 10 times more. Okay, let's see, maybe when they will hire it to the maximum, we'll have better results. Meanwhile, if we will manufacturing industries, even arms industry, manufacturing industry. Let's see it. Okay, yeah, it is an arms industry. Uh, so, probably. We would also have to build something like that in other, in other areas to leave Kiev with agriculture industry and, for example, this area. Yeah, should work with that. Sarabia. Actually, this is a real gold mine because uh, most of our saving will be spent on war.
you see we have the income much higher now because we produce it ourselves and the price is not that high but soon when we will mobilize our army we will need it dramatically much more okay what about the ammunition let's see that Modifiers, but what do they need? They also need ammunition, and we don't have enough it right now. Which means that there should be built an ammunition plant. don't remember uh, where the ammunition is produced. Oh. We just don't have the necessary technology. Okay. Well, so I afraid it is possible that we will be low on ammunition. Let's see. Okay, ammunition, yeah. Let's try to find a road for the ammunition. Yeah, actually only this one. It is not profitable. But we need ammunition. We will need it much more. Okay, so let's see uh, how much do we spend uh, on military goods. military wages okay you see uh, the beginning of production of arms in our country it actually gave us a real economy and during the war when we will need it much more the economy will be even more notable It's interesting, why do they have lower cash reserves? Because actually we need more of the weapon and they produce it more. Okay, everything good with the cash. Okay, so now Ukraine needs 25. Among that, certain is produced here. But during the war, we will probably need a hundred of them. So the key question is, will our industry be able to produce it, or we will have to buy it, or we will lose the war because we will have no of it. We will see.
Окей, вы я very close. In a month. Окей. And probably Poland also will buy some of our weapon because they will have also some army. Okay. So we have to start. Let's make a small break before it. I have to encourage myself and then we will continue.